right, right. There is no communication between you guys. The conflict, the arguments, the confusion, it's all being created because either there is miscommunication or there is a lack of communication here. Someone's being very dishonest to you. Now, dishonest does not mean that this person is lying or cheating on you in that way, in, in a way that they have someone else behind the back. It could be because this person is not telling you what the truth is. And the truth is that probably they want to offer this to you, but they're not telling you. You know, this could be anything with the Ace of Swords in reverse here. This is just probably someone here who's just not ready to open up, okay? Maybe this person does not feel confident enough to open up, right? It could be anything. But right now, I feel that clear communication is the key and that's not happening here. Maybe you guys have, you know, there's like a clash of different mindsets or, you know, belief systems between you both. But this person is not in the right mindset right now to open up. Okay, this person is allowing their emotions to cloud their ability to think very uh, critically and logically about a situation. Okay, tell me more about Taurus from now until the end of July 2021. What's going on in their situation in love? Yeah, so you want to come out. This person was, oh my god, so many new beginnings out here. But you know, you have an ace of pentacles, you have the ace of cups here. So not only do you have a stable beginning coming up, you also have... A new beginning coming up in love emotionally. But the main problem out here is that is this person even telling you that they want all this with you? <laughs> That's very weird. Someone wants to take a leap of faith with you, okay? Someone wants to take a risk, okay? They're probably all this while they were wanting to stay in their comfort zone, but now they're ready to, you know, take a leap of faith and trust what the universe has to offer and just go with it, okay? Just jump into it. Tell me more. lovers in reverse so there's been a breakup between you both you were more emotionally involved in this connection rather than this person out here maybe you wanted commitment you wanted marriage you wanted stability out here okay but now it's like instead you know you, you i think you both were in a very very um in a very good relationship okay this was like a long-term relationship okay everything was very good you guys were very happy together okay but now i think that even if either you both are still into this relationship okay if this is if you guys are still there but there's like this falsehood okay you're pretending that everything is still wonderful but actually it's not or there's just like someone who's just making it very very difficult for you to love them or for them to love you here but the lovers in reverse here there is a choice that someone needs to make either they get committed and they move towards you with a lot of uh, with the same amount of passion, um, uh, emotions, spiritual um, energy, or then they just let it go, okay? But with the lovers in reverse here, I feel there was a breakup here, okay? You guys were not on the same page. I'm hearing you guys did share the same values or belief system, non-committal, or whatever. Uh, tell me more. Yeah. See, this, this, this is a situation here that instead of making you happy, like it's like a wish come true for you, you know, probably this person was your wish come true. This person was someone who made you very happy. You were very content. Okay. You were probably like getting what you want and you know, and uh, you know, it was like a lot of emotional fulfillment. But I think what happened is that all of a sudden there was like this, you know, you were feeling stagnant in this relationship. Like there was all this honeymoon stage of starry eyes and, you know, all, you know, all goody goody stuff. And then all of a sudden things just came to a halt here. And now you have this sense of disappointment, you know, because you're like sitting there with your thoughts and feelings and you're just like, you know, you're not quite where you want to be in this relationship. Okay. Uh, this is like a wish that turned out to be a disaster. But it's a situation that's emotionally draining you out, okay? Tell me more. This person's procrastinating, which is why they keep missing opportunities here. You're dealing with someone very, very immature. Very immature person out here. This person wants to make all the effort. They want to, you know, like, uh, they're procrastinating, basically. They probably think about you, dream about you, etc. Here, you know, a lot of daydreaming, you know. This person daydreams a lot, you know. They want to do this, they want to do that. They'll come and tell you this, they'll come and tell you that. But the thing is that where is the talking? Where is the communication? I told you, right, that's the most important thing. And that's the, that's just missing out here. This person is not taking advantage of the opportunities that they have with you because they're lacking goals. Probably they're irresponsible, you know, probably they're just lazy, very immature, you know. This person, I mean, this could make you feel very bored in the relationship also, okay? 
it could be it could be but i feel this person is really uh struggling you know to bring something more tangible into this connection and they're finding it really difficult you know to move forward with their ideas that's what's happening here there's just no groundwork no follow through from this person here could be having someone could be having a very unhealthy lifestyle is what i'm hearing probably even obsession with tarot let's see this person is wasting time tell me more tell me more say would just when i said waste of time they're sitting on the fence doing nothing they're doing nothing they're not making a decision they're not moving forward they're not moving backward they're procrastinating they have a lot of fear of making the wrong choice or fear of failure whatever it is this person just enjoys staying in their comfort zone you know which is why there's a lack of clarity out here you know this person out here is probably someone you know who lacks optimism you know they're so pessimistic right they're not being able to focus on uh, the positive aspects of the relationship or you know that overall when well, i can make this work out this can still work out this can still be salvaged they're losing their optimism you know they're just very pessimistic very very negative you know very negative but this could be a long distance relationship okay and they're having a hard time making trying to make it work out they're not being able to come up with a plan at least a workable plan and probably that's why they're not being able to communicate with this communicate this with you which is draining you out they they probably unhappy they're very unhappy without you is like what i'm getting tell me more photos wow they want marriage they want commitment this person is very confused you know they're very confused because all these cards they have pentacles ace of cups uh four of wands these are all such good cards out here this is screaming commitment screaming marriage they want something uh, they want to get engaged they want to be with you you know they want that stability security within the connection but you see the procrastination coming in from the ace of swords in reverse the the page of pentacles in reverse it's it's all procrastination which is keeping the entire situation on hold and one of you is getting drained out or even both of you okay That's a very emotionally codependent person that you're dealing with. You make them very, very happy. But because of this breakup, right? And this breakup has probably been happen a lot of times. Okay. They still not be able to make up their mind. Tell me more. See, they want a reconciliation. They want to talk. They want a reconciliation. They realize they fucked up. They know they screwed up. This person has been sabotaging this connection all this while. You know, they've been sabotaging this connection all this while. They were pushing away what they always wanted because of probably it's just a way of how they were brought up. They probably had a hard time, you know, opening up or, you know, someone did this to them because of which they have trust issues and they realize that you're walking away and now this person wants to compromise. They want to reach a compromise. They probably want to have like um like a communication reconciliation if not a full blown reconciliation. What's the ace of pentacles? Yeah, see, they're in two minds about this offer here. They're not being able to make up their mind. They're trying to uh, make a decision because it's like something that's you know very heavily on their mind, and they want to try and figure it out if they can balance this commitment or balance this you know with the other things that they have in mind. Because two of pentacles is someone you know who's probably very very busy or someone who's got a lot on their plate, you know. and they just constantly trying to juggle so they trying to juggle a decision i don't think this is with someone else could be doesn't have to be for everyone but this is just them and two minds you know do i want this do i not want this what are the advantages what are the pros and cons you know i mean is this something that is workable something like that the stays of sorts and reverse yeah see they're emotionally staying balanced This person wants to make a decision not because you are forcing them to or not because you are in no communication but they want to make a, make a decision here where they don't feel forced you know and they want to try and avoid getting involved with you right now because they don't want unnecessary drama could also be i'm getting more of that yes they could be ignoring the problem hoping that it'll go away but uh, i think they're trying to brainstorm all the possible po options you know 
and consequences in their logical head, you know, in a very rational manner. Let's taste the cups. Yeah. See, they want the new beginning with you, but they have a very negative mindset out here. They're losing hope and faith that it can work out. Universe is, uh, the universe is testing them, you know, how badly they want this. But the thing is that they're losing hope and faith, probably because there's no communication from your side, or probably because you're not showing any interest out here. You know, a negative mindset can do so much damage, and a positive mindset, it can just create wonders, just saying. Where would this is for? The lovers in reverse, why is this here? Yeah, see, of course, that's why usually the breakups happen, right? Because there's a lack of commitment here. There's no stability, no security. Uh, you know, this person is not being able... This person is either not ready for marriage, guys, or this person is has family or tradition that's coming in between, or this person is just too focused on their money, and they don't really put in the effort to make try and make a relationship work out. Okay? What's the Nine of Cups in reverse? Negative thoughts. This person is a very, very negative thinker. I can't stress enough. You know, it's like every single time they think of coming towards you, right? It's like, yeah, you know, I want to go and, um, you know, make things right. I, I want this new beginning, etc. With Taurus. What happens is that this person here, instead of overcoming the challenges in the relationship, this person starts to talk themselves down, you know? Yeah, negative self-talk. That's what I'm getting. <coughs> you know, I think this person here is trying to just examine whether they can come out fighting in the current situation or whether it is just time to move on and build a new life. I think this person is very unhappy without you, but that constant ch mind chatter is going on in their head. You know, oh, it's not going to work out. Oh, you know, they keep remembering the past memories. They keep remembering how you guys fought or what you said to them. Words could have been said, very, very hurtful words could have been said out here. Okay. Which could have been playing in their mind over and over again. You could have hurt them bad, you know, which is why they're so upset. Think about it. What's the page of pentacles in reverse? They want to. They want to. They want. They need to gather that willingness and determination. Okay. They need to get that willingness and determination to move forward out here. But they're procrastinating the idea of probably traveling towards you. This you could be living at a distance from them. But I think this person's uh, trying to gather that courage and will, you know, to move forward towards you and overcome any obstacles out here. They're just getting prepared for it. They're getting prepared for it. Probably should be soon enough till they're ready to come towards you. But um, the chariot, I really like. It's a very positive card, you know. And it's more like nothing can make anything successful here. Because the chariot is all about, you know, uh, taking that road with confidence. You know, focusing on that one key goal single-mindedly until it's achieved, you know. This person is very focused, very determined, you know. And then, you know, they're, uh, they're remaining... Um, very resolute in pursuit of their goals out here, okay? Trying to overcome the obstacles with that determination, willpower here. But the point here is that do they have a plan? Look, one point is that you can just go ahead, you know, just take a risk, they can just go ahead and do what you want to. But you need to have a plan, and that's something this person probably even lacks the confidence out here. Okay. Two of Wands in reverse, where's this one? Two of Cups in reverse. Yeah, see, there's a disconnection here. There's a disconnection here. You guys love each other, but, you know, this person out here is probably being very indecisive, putting everything on hold out here, you know. Very fearful of making the wrong choice here because there's already been a clash. There's already been a breakup out here and they don't know what they can do to get you back on board out here. It's just fear out here. That's just fear. But they do feel a lack of love and emotional support from your side. You know, they're finding it very difficult to express their emotions, you know, in a very accurate way you know you could also be dealing with someone here who's afraid of love or who to, who's just afraid you know uh, to open up to anyone or maintain committed relationships i could also I, I feel that here this person loves you but they're very very scared to be in a committed relationship they're just afraid of love overall four of wands what's that <laughs> yeah see this person lacks the effort they lack the effort here you know, the Four of Wands is the card of commitment here. So yeah, you want commitment, but are you ready to put in that uh, persistent hard work? Are you ready to be there, you know, be the patient, optimistic, 
practical, responsible, you know, that persistence, that hard work, you know, that stubbornness, you know, that I'm going to achieve my goal here. It's like a very slow process that this person, you know, needs to make, but they're not in the right frame of mind here. This person is not ready for commitment and stability, you know. It's a very unstable relationship because uh, there's no action from this person's side. This person's probably very weak, very lazy, yeah. Or just could be someone here, you know, who's um, wanting a relationship. They want a committed relationship, but they're not ready to work for it. Okay, they just probably lack the motivation. That's what I'm getting here. Because see, page of pentacles in reverse, knight of pentacles in reverse. This is all a lack of motivation here, you know. Very irresponsible, pessimistic again. Five of swords here in reverse. Why is this here? Wow. They're, 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 um, they want to come towards you, they're thinking about it. There's a lot of wait and watch, wait and watch, wait and watch. I'm not ready to make that leap yet. They want to think about it, they want to sleep over it, they're not sure. And uh, it's like, you know, after like this breakup that you guys have had, right? This person wants to take that um, space. You know, they want this space and thinking time, okay? And um, probably just rest and rejuvenate. They need this time away from the relationship to take care of their own emotional needs and, you know, gather their thoughts here. But I feel this person has a very strong desire to be alone right now, you know, to think and understand what they want, what they value, you know, what they want in this relationship, you know, before jumping into it. So, yeah, I think you should give this person that time because the realization is there for sure, okay? It's just going to be about time uh, before they come towards you with that leap of faith and, you know, communicate with you, okay? So that's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.